by the end of this playlist you will be able to write and compile your own gpu accelerated application for nvidia cuda in python acceleration is an advanced topic so if you are not confident about your python i suggest you to check our python beginners tutorial series i am ronak paul and throughout this series i'll be your lecturer instead of diving into coding from the get go especially if you don't have much experience with acceleration let's start with a simplified metaphor to help you understand what exactly is acceleration let's assume you are a tour guide and you are tasked with giving a tour of the city this city has its own set of attraction which you must cover while maintaining all the city rules this is your application space you have a car which you drive around the city in a predetermined path with the passengers to give them the tour this path can be your algorithm and the car is your processor every year you get more and more tour requests so you keep upgrading to a newer faster car but you have already bought a racing car and although it is very fast it can only hold up to three other passengers so what can you do to deal with this very high demand luckily our tour guide is a computer science student and he has learned about acceleration so he decides to get a bus now what happened bus is slower than car right but bus can give 2 to 30 persons at the same time so even though the bus is slower his one tour with the bus will cover 10 times giving tour with the car his path may have slightly changed as not all roads allow the bus hence he has slightly different algorithm now and instead of using the car he moved on to a different mode of transportation which is the bus so his processing device also changed so his overall task of giving the tour has accelerated although the bus is essentially slower than the car now there are clear advantages and disadvantages to this approach the bus takes more fuel to run and onboarding 30 people takes much more time than just asking three people to sit on your car these things can be thought of as a small tax to pay for using the bus in computer science terms this is called acceleration tax as your passengers or data grows you can create your own fleet of buses this is exactly what happens in case of gpu acceleration so even the bus will be useless to you unless you learn to drive it right so let's abandon the metaphor and dive into learning acceleration with cuda so what exactly can we accelerate it in our algorithm three things to keep an eye for to implement acceleration on so the first is processing large blocks of data in a deterministic way which also means the variables or the data are not related to each other next have well defined data dependencies preferably sequential or stream based processing always try to avoid random access and the final point is processing time on the cpu is at least larger than the acceleration tax now two terminologies we will be following from now on which are the cpu with its ram and storage will be called the host while the gpu or the graphics card with its thousands of cuda cores will be referred to as the device and that's it for this video next time we will be installing cuda toolkit from nvidia and set up python environment we will also see how to run acceleration on google colab for those who are missing nvidia gpu in their system thank you for watching this video thumbs if you liked it do share it with your friends and family and make sure to subscribe for more content and let me know in the comment section below